Hey, it's Sol, and I wanted to take a. I don't. Wanna, I wanted to take a few minutes just to talk very briefly about the uh, about the World of Warcraft Legion launch. Just the launch, not the expansion itself. That's that's not going to come until much much later once we've really sunk our teeth into this guy. Uh, but I just wanted to talk about the launch because the because well in general the launch was hella good. <laughs> it was it was really smooth. There were there were very few to almost no problems, and I think that. Um, the community for the most part, you know, news sites and some forums that I've been looking at, um, they all agree that the launch has been probably the smoothest launch that we've seen uh, from a WoW expansion. From my first impressions on the, free, on the minutes just before the launch, uh, you know, there was, a lot of, there was a lot going on, things were busy, there were a lot of uh, players populated just around Khadgar in the middle of Dalaran, but overall, uh, when uh, when it was time to start, it looks like what happened was uh, there was a there was a quest that was given to players at random. It was it was given in waves for the most part, and in doing so, it prevented like a, a huge bottleneck from occurring or or possible server uh, server problems from happening from everyone doing like the same thing at the, uh, at the same time. Uh, so so that helped, and then of course throughout. Um, Throughout the first few hours of the expansion, there were pretty much no problems. Um, I don't think there were any uh, big reports of lag or disconnects, anything like that. There was, um, there was one testimony from a guildmate who, <laughs> I, I guess, when he had Dalaran teleport from where it was over to the Broken Isles, uh, Dalaran teleported, but he didn't, so he just fell to his death, and that kind of sucked. But the, he was able to resolve the problem on its own. Here we are, and and we're uh, in the middle of the second day of the expansion and we're still looking really really good I think yesterday there was a DDoS uh, attack that was reported by Blizzard and of course experienced by players for uh, maybe about half an hour to an hour or so and I think there was like some lingering lingering uh, aftershocks I guess so to speak but there still weren't any problems you know nothing significant that would make um, that would get players sharpening their pitchforks and getting ready for battle people were really really happy or people are really really happy and I'm hoping that this will extend out to the weekend when we get more and more players in now of course despite the good news there are people that see this you know in different ways they'll see it as oh well of course there aren't gonna be any problems hardly anyone's playing the game ha 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 you know and stupid shit like that but well, okay, maybe it's not like totally stupid shit because we well we can't deny obviously that there are less players playing the game than there probably were at the Warlords of Draenor launch. Let's not uh, let's not fool ourselves. At the same time, though, that's not really the thing that's in question. It's just how was the launch? And in this case, it was handled so much better than any other expansion that that folks such as myself can't really stop singing their praises. You know, a lot of the conversation, well, you know, during during, I mean, a lot of the conversation when I was talking with guildies over my chat was, "Wow, this is really smooth. Everything's going fine. Everyone's online. Everyone's having a good time." And and that's all. And that's all that really matters, you know. Is everyone on having a good time? The answer is yes. If anything, this proves that. If anything, this is proof positive that without a DDoS attack, you know, in this situation, Blizzard can handle a really, really smooth launch. And a lot of it was thanks to, of course, the beta testers and everyone that was helping out for the stress test and the test to test out the launches. You know, they were doing a lot of that. Uh, Blizzard was looking for a lot of feedback about looking for bottlenecks. And I think there was one major bottleneck that was still present uh, by the time launch came. And that was hot fixed uh, within, I, I guess, uh, the first 20 or so hours of the expansion so the large bulk of the players that are getting on right now uh, and hopping in getting their feet wet and diving in are are getting a really good experience and I think my puppy's like right behind me I think he's been there the whole time the creeper but I'm happy I'm very very happy with how things have been going and I'm hoping that you guys who are on the fence about hopping in or who wanted to bye buddy who wanted to take a break to you know just kind of wait and you know wait for all the problems to go away before they um uh before they start playing don't there doesn't seem to be any problems now so if you've got the courage to do it go ahead sub in pick up the expansion and dive in 
I wasn't going to do this video because, to be honest, I really want to just get back into playing. But I'm really excited to share the news with you guys and let you guys know, hey, everything's cool, everything's fine. Uh, go ahead, start playing. Anyway, I'm going to get off, cut this thing really quick, throw it up. It's going to look like crap. Oh well. Let's play. I'll see you guys online. Stay breezy.